Tonight we hear from a mom who jumped in trying to save a young boy's life at a water park. The woman says she started doing CPR after the boy was found unconscious inside a wave pool. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Eric Von Aiken. In for Matt tonight, Lisa's also off. The five-year-old died shortly after he was pulled out of the wave pool at the Daytona Lagoon Water Park on Saturday. News 6's Eric Sandoval spoke with one of the people who tried to save his life, Eric. Yeah, Jennifer De La Cruz is this woman's name. She said that she and her family had actually traveled to Daytona Lagoon on Saturday to celebrate her daughter's birthday. She said she had no idea that that day would end with her performing CPR on a five-year-old child. 911, where's your emergency? Daytona Beach police and paramedics arrived at Daytona Lagoon at around one o'clock Saturday afternoon after getting calls like this one about a child found unconscious in the water. They have out of water, there's people working, there's a whole crowd of people around them. Investigators identify the child as five-year-old Caden Lawson, seen here on his family's GoFundMe page. And I immediately yell, I'm like, I know CPR. And she just placed them down and, and, you know, I just went to work. Jennifer De La Cruz says she was one of the first people to start trying to save the boy's life. Probably 30 seconds to me doing chest compressions. Um, a gentleman jumps in. He's like, I'm a doctor. He was there visiting with his family as well. He starts doing chest compressions and we all just start helping. She says several people tried to help, including lifeguards, who she says eventually jumped in with an automatic defibrillator. She says they tried several times to get Caden's heart beating again. Every person in that park, every person in that perimeter of the area was crying. Like everyone felt for that family. Like I don't think any of us have ever witnessed anything like that. Tonight, she says her thoughts are with the boy's family. I pray for their peace because this is a very horrible tragedy. Now get this, we found out today that Caden may have been under that water for as long as four minutes before he was found. Daytona Lagoon has launched their own internal investigation into what happened, and police say Caden's parents likely will not face any criminal charges. Eric? Eric Sandoval for us tonight. Thank you.